Hi, welcome back. Just a short little video here. I just wanted to give you some interesting applications of these colligative properties. So, uh, for instance, in wintertime, one of the things you might know is that we spread salt onto the road. And the idea behind this is by adding salt to the road, we can actually depress the freezing point. So uh, we can go ahead and we can take the freezing point of water, right, and we can depress it. So maybe if we add enough salt, right, we can make it freeze at minus 10 degrees C. So of course, it's, if it's a day that's say minus five degrees C, right, without the salt, the water will definitely freeze. But with the salt, right, the freezing point is lowered below that point, so it actually starts to melt again. So that's one really neat application of uh, freezing point depression. Uh, we can also look at Add another application in our car and that is we actually add something called antifreeze and essentially antifreeze is just a very concentrated aqueous solution and because of freezing point depression it means that this solution here will not freeze on a cold day but it has actually has another interesting side effect and that is it is also anti-boil by making the solution quite concentrated it has a much higher boiling point and so it just allows your car to cool down much more effectively Another neat application of osmosis and osmotic pressure is by keeping uh, red blood cells in solutions uh, that have a different concentration to the inside to the outside. So for instance, if we put our red blood cell in a solution that has a hyperosmotic solution, so that is a hypertonic or a higher concentration than normal, that means that essentially water will rush out of the red blood cells because water will diffuse from regions of high concentration to low. So if the outside solution is very concentrated in solute, that means it's very dilute in water. So water will rush out and will cause these red blood cells to uh, deform and to shrivel up. We can see there's some serious damage here. Conversely, if we put it into a very dilute solution, so that means the solution the red blood cell in has a low solute concentration or if you like a high water concentration diffusion will cause that high water concentration to move in through the red blood cell the outside of which is essentially a a, a semi-permeable membrane and the red blood cell will plump up and be a lot bigger than normal in fact this is a normal red blood cell here and you can see that when it's in a solution that has exactly the same concentration as the inside there's no net osmosis there's no net flow of water either in or out so you got a perfectly formed cell